Welcome back to another episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy from the Edelman Planetarium. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at a cluster of stars with many names. Astronomers know it as M45, or the Pleiades. Some call it the Seven Sisters. You may even be familiar with its name in Japan, Subaru. Humankind has always looked up to the Pleiades star cluster for guidance. Sailors have relied on the stars for navigation, and farmers for when to sow and harvest their crops. The Zuni tribe in New Mexico call the stars the seed stars. They know when the cluster disappears in the spring, it is time to sow. Other cultures believe the Pleiades seeded the planet and are the original seven mothers of the earth. In Greek mythology, they were seven sisters, who became the objects of Orion's pursuit after a chance meeting with him. To protect them from Orion's relentless amorous advances, Zeus changed them into a flock of doves, which he then set in the heavens. Fans of the Japanese car manufacturer will recognize the company logo in the cluster of stars surrounded by blue clouds of gas and dust. When you look at the night sky, you may notice that there are only six stars in the cluster. The seventh sister, Merope, is the lost Pleiad because hers was the last star to be mapped by astronomers and is the faintest star in the cluster, not visible to the naked eye. Some legends suggest that she became lost because she hid her face in shame at marrying a mortal. Let's fly to the Pleiades star cluster and take a closer look. The Pleiades is actually made up of more than 1,000 stars, surrounded by a cloud of gas and dust. The stars are not hot enough to ionize the gas and make it glow. Instead, the dust grains embedded in the cloud scatter and reflect starlight, and we see this as the Pleiades Reflection Nebula. Originally thought to be a remnant of stellar birth, it's really a chance encounter. The cluster is passing through a random interstellar cloud, and the Pleiades leave awake as the cloud rushes by. You can find the Pleiades for yourself, with the help of Orion. Using the three belt stars in Orion, you can draw a line across the sky until you reach a V-shaped pattern of stars that forms Taurus, the bull. Here on Taurus's back, we find the Pleiades. Also nearby is the bright planet Venus. As the month goes on, the Pleiades will get lower in the sky until it is lost in the sun's glare around April 21st. But don't worry, it will be back again in the early morning skies late this summer. <laughs> <laughs> 